They told us that we should be washing our hands, but what else should we be keeping clean to keep the germs at bay? Hey, Cece Cheney here, and today I am sharing with you three things you should also be cleaning besides just your hands. So, I ran across an article um, this morning that I thought was really good. It had some really great tips about some little known things that we could be doing to help uh, protect ourselves and keep, our, keep ourselves healthy. And today I thought I would share just three of those. I don't want to take all of your time. I know that things are crazy busy. Um, so I said, you know what? Let's talk about them. Let me know how you've been doing with keeping these particular things clean too. So let's dig in. Number one, your phone. When's the last time you gave your, your phone a good wiping down? Take a quick second and think about all of the germy places that your phone might end up, right? On a countertop, at the table, in a restaurant, your grimy hands have been on them, right? So when's the last time you wiped, your, you wiped down your phone, okay? So I got some tips from Molly Maids on how to take care of these particular things. Molly Maid says you can remove 99% of the germs on your phone with a simple microfiber cloth in clean water. You don't even need to add other things to it and simply wipe it down and do this often, right? Because we just don't think about all of the things that we touch and we're always touching our phone all day long. We also put our phone to our face, which is one of the tips that we're hearing all of the time. So make sure that you are doing that, okay? Number two. Your other electronic devices, okay? So they said things like your keyboard, your tablet, your remote controls, the mouse, right? If you've got kids and they've got some of their own devices, all of these things in your home need to be wiped down. Again, the germs are everywhere and you wanna make sure that you are taking care of those things as well. So how do you clean those things? According to Molly Maids, right? They say you wanna clean keyboards with the canned air and you can disinfect between the keys with a cotton swab dipped in whatever your cleaning solution is or rubbing alcohol. So that's a really easy way to get all up in there and between the keys, okay? So that's what they recommend for that. Everything else, you can use the same microfiber um, tip that I gave you a second ago to clean down everything else and you'll get 99% of the germs. So that's super, super, super simple and something that we probably are not always remembering to do as often. Now is the time where we want to be very vigilant with these things, okay? So that's number two. And number three, guys, I did not think of this one at all. I was really like, oops, I haven't done that. And then, well, I'll tell you that in a second. So they said, don't forget your earbuds, right? So I don't know about you, yeah, I use mine all the time. Like I take them everywhere, I'm, I'm using them constantly. And they said, you know, we think about our earbuds as something we just put in and out of our ears, but the reality is, they can come into contact with airborne pathogens. Did not think of that. Let me know if that was something you've been thinking about or something that you have been making sure that you take care of. I had not thought about it myself. And the sad thing is, guys, when I walked into my office today, my earbuds were on the floor. <laughs> so I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> that's when you remember to clean them, right? So how do you do this? Okay, so Molly Maid says that you should um, dampen a cloth with warm water and dip into a little bit of soap. Now they said be very careful um, with your earbuds because too much water can damage the technology and too much soap can actually leave a filmy residue. So the bonus tip for, from Molly Maids was after you've done the cleaning process to use a Q-tip to finish the job. So you can use that Q-tip to finish cleaning it out so that you don't have the residue and you don't have any extra water. Let me know if those tips were useful to you, okay? So those are three things that maybe we're not thinking about in the same way that we're thinking about being vigilant with our hands. So again, you wanna make sure that you are wiping down your phone, you are also wiping down all of the other electronics and your earbuds. And again, use those tips that I shared with you so that you are doing it in a way that preserves the quality of those products, right? Because we don't want to damage our electronics. Now, I know that everybody's talking about immune system support and everybody's talking about uh, the importance of staying healthy right now. And I am 100% on board with that. Now, if you're thinking, how do I do that, Cece? How in the world do I stay healthy right now? Besides these tips that you shared, well, worry not. I actually put together five immune-boosting foods 
that won't break the bank, things that you can get very easily so that you can make sure that you're taking care of yourself and that you um, are building up your immune system right now. So if you like that, simply shoot me a message. I'll get that right over to you. I know how important this is for so many people and it's totally free. So I'll be more than happy to share that with you. Otherwise, I look forward to chatting with you tomorrow. Ciao.